All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this liquid blur effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this model as a reference, right click on the layer, convert a smart object, and now we're gonna go to the filter, blur, and select motion blur. Make sure that the angle is on zero and increase the distance quite a bit so it's gonna look something like this. Click OK. Now let's go to the layer and select this mask right here, this thumbnail with white. Click on it and we're gonna go and select the brush. Let's go down and switch up the color so the black is going to be on the top. And with this black color, basically you can remove this special effect that you created on the model. Now also make sure that the opacity is on 100% and I'm going to delete the effect on the right side. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Now we're going to go back to the layer and as you can see, we're on the mask at the moment. We're going to switch it up and click here at this thumbnail or at this layer. So we're going to uncheck the mask. And this way we're going to need to apply on the layer another effect. Go to filter. From here, let's go to liquefy. And we're going to start distorting the left side here. So here on the right side, you can increase or decrease the brush size. And you also can decrease or increase the pressure. I'm going to leave the pressure nice and high. And I'm going to start and distorting it from here all the way out. And I'm going to try to go from here and just do tricks like these. Okay, so I'm going to try it with this one. It looks kind of wild. Click OK. So I'm going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, select gradient map, click on the gradient, click here, click on the color. I'm going to go and choose a purple. Click OK. Click next here. And I'm going to select a pink, a red, pink, click OK. Let's add another one. This is going to be yellow. Click OK. And the last one is going to be a strong blue. Click OK. I'm going to arrange these a little bit better. Click OK. Press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert smart object. Let's go to filter, filter gallery, go to texture and select grain. Now in my case, I'm going to decrease it to 40, the intensity and the contrast is going to be somewhere around 50. Now this also depends on the size of your artboard. So I'm going to click OK. And this is how the final result looks like. Thanks for watching.